Hi booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm gonna to be doing the makeup book tab Today I'm gonna to be doing the makeup book tag video. So I already filmed this once and I realized that my ears were sort of showing in the video and I have a thing about my ears and I just want them to be covered and never seen or spoken of or thought of. But I was also thinking about how I could do my makeup and keep my hair on my face without the world seeing my ears. So I came up with a solution. Headphones. Hopefully this works out because I know I look dumb but I have things. So I was tagged by Min Kobayashi and I've been really kind of excited about it since then. Um, I've never done my makeup like this before so it'll be fun. I have my makeup bag here. So basically each... Um, piece of makeup has a question to go along with it and I'll answer the question with a book or a bookish thing. There's glitter everywhere. All right. So first, primer. Um, a book that left a lasting impression. For this one, I'm going to have to choose Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, I read it. I read it in an AP English class when I was in high school which is it was a college credit um class and it was the first time i looked at a book critically and looked at it through the lens of their symbolism in this and their literary motifs and all that good stuff so it quickly became my favorite book and then now it's kind of it's still up there as one of my favorites since then next is foundation which is the first your favorite first book in a series my buffer thing is like super messed up because my dog tried to eat it after my last attempt at this video. My favorite first book in the series is going to have to be The Magician's Nephew and The Chronicles of Narnia. It was definitely just my favorite because of the world building aspect of it. That was really creative and well done. Um, however, it's been a while since I have read it, so I'm not sure if I would still look at it through that same perspective or not. Um, so I'd have to reread it again. Also, I am not by any means a professional. As you can probably tell, I have no idea what I'm doing blending wise. Um, just kind of going for it there. Next, concealer, a character you wish you could get rid of. So I'm of the mind that every character is very important to the story, the annoying ones, the good ones, everything. So with that, being said, I would have to say Anne in the Isle of Swords that I recently reviewed because how many times does a character need to fall on their knees and start crying? I would say zero because who does that unless something tragic has happened and she did it every five minutes and I guarantee you nothing that tragic happened. 13 times in a book. So, I would have to say Anne in Isle of Swords by Wayne Thomas Batson. Powder, your favorite last book in a series. So, this question got me thinking, have I ever finished a series in my life? The answer, of course, is yes, I have finished a handful of series in my life. And it just took me a like, really long time to sort of think of what those were. Um, I actually came up with two answers for this one. One is, don't judge me, but Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. Not Eclipse, Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer because it had all the vampires in it that um, had all the different powers. And I thought that was like, that was actually my favorite part of Twilight is that the vampires all had sort of different powers. Because I, I like superhero stuff and I like things like that. So I loved Breaking Dawn because it had a lot more than the other books had of that particular thing. And less love drama in my opinion. Because I hate that job. I need to blend the shit out of this. Eyebrows, a book you think that everyone should read. Um, for this one... I'm going to say The Giver by Lois Lowry, um, primarily because I think the fact that everyone's sort of made to be the same in those books 
reinforces how important our individual traits are, our individual feelings, our individual hopes and dreams and flaws, everything. And I think it's just really beautiful the way it is sort of portrayed in that book. Um, how everything is just the same blah. And to think that there'd be a society where we were all just the same suck balls. Also, I don't do not do my eyebrows. I don't my eyebrows are shaped funky, so I mean I guess if I learned how to do them correctly maybe I could fix that, but who has the time? So I'll just have them crooked. This one looks okay. This one needs Jesus. Next is eyeshadow, which is my favorite thing to do with my makeup. And this is a book that is your favorite color. And that is really hard because my favorite color is most definitely black. And there's a ton of black books. And so I think I'll have to go with V for Vendetta. It's a graphic novel and it's amazing. You've probably heard of it. It's by Alan Moore, I believe. Yeah, Alan Moore. Who's awesome. He also did um, Watchmen and I think was it Arkham? It was a Batman novel, Arkham? Eyeshadow actually takes the longest because I put the most effort into it. Again, do not let me fool you into thinking that I have any idea what I'm doing because that's a dangerous, dangerous road to travel down. I, in fact, know 0% of what I'm doing. I only know how to pretend. So with this, I usually like to do a little bit of this copper color right here. It looks orange in the camera, but it's like a copper, and I like to do that at the top area. And I shouldn't do it in the phone camera, but I like to do that right there on both sides, obviously. I don't only do it on one. Start a new trend of asymmetrical eye sensations. Okay, so I do that kind of on top and right here. And then I get this blue, bluish, indigo ish, whatever. Mess. Menagerie. And I kind of do the bottom. So I'm going to use my mirror over here. see that. It looks kind of weird on the camera. And yes, I can just have this crater is still very visible on my face. That's because I have like no concealer in that concealer -y thing. It's just for show to make me feel like I'm doing something. So basically I like to put like copper on top and the like blue color on the bottom. Then I use this thing to kind of like make it look less dramatic. Not too less dramatic, because I like it to be a little bit dramatic. But I kind of blend it so it's not, but transitions a little bit more transition-y. That's that business. Can you see the color? Next is Eyeliner, a dark and mysterious book. I don't, I mean, all my books are kind of got darkness going on in them. But for a mysterious aspect, I guess I would have to say... Velocity by Dean Koontz. It is amazing. I've talked about it in a couple of my videos because I read it recently. And it is just so good. I don't see how people can talk and do their makeup at the same time. Because I don't know. Look how low that wing became. That is a low wing. Low rider. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Velocity by Dean Koontz. It is a great novel where this average dude with a mysterious past starts getting these notes and letters saying if he goes to the least, this person's gonna die. If he doesn't, this person's gonna die. So either way, someone's gonna die and it is going to be your fault because you're the one that either did or did not make a decision. That's whatever. I'm bad at this. I don't care that much. Because I am not a makeup artist. I'm a therapist. Alright. 
Okay, so I saw like several versions of this tag, and one said blush as number eight, and it said a, cring uh, a book that had a cringy romance, and I honestly, I don't know, um, probably Twilight again, all the romance was kind of cringy in that book, um, but then I saw another one that said mascara because that one original, the one I got this from, did not have mascara on it. And I desperately need that because my eyelashes, they'll just like hang out way down here. So, um, we're going to say the mascara one, which I saw in another video that says a really long book. Now, I don't know if this is the book that I have or have not read. So, if I did a book on my shelf, I'd have to say Under the Dome by Stephen King. Even though that's not quite as long as... Um, Malazan Book of the Fallen by Stephen Erickson books that are on our shelves that my husband keeps trying to get me to read. But, um, I know I've read long books, but I can't, for the life of me, like, remember any of them at this moment. So, this I'll video say Summerland like, by Michael Schumann. becoming one of the longest things. I'll have to definitely edit it down. Also, I can't put my makeup on without, like, opening my mouth, so I'm not sure how people are doing this tag and like talking through it because I am not that talented okay also I know I'm not talking long enough but I also can't tell because I'm wearing headphones I just put makeup on it doesn't taste good okay back to this highlighter a book I have a dog so okay Highlighter is again something I don't know anything about. So, a book that brightened your day. This is not a highlighter brush by any means. I don't own one. Um, a book that brightened my day would definitely have to be Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Mainly because I just thought it was really, really epic and I felt just, I just felt awesome that such a cool main character could just uh, exist and be so just a badass. I, I was just really happy about her, about um, Cinder. And I loved the sci-fi and the fantasy all kind of put together. It was just really epic and I, it's just great. Next is lipstick, which I is another thing I don't really ever wear. And this is my favorite book kiss a spoiler alert while this hand is up um i'll be talking about it it's a spoiler from a gathering of shadows if you have not read it so i would have to say holland and rye's kiss it just it was just great i was so happy i was like cheering i loved it it was great yes yes i guess i should actually do it eh. I look like a five-year-old that tried to do her mom's makeup. And then, like, to get revenge, her mom did her makeup back. Like, worth. That's what I look like right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. It looks like lipstick. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, may have gotten something on the carpet. This is contour, which is something I do not do. And it is a book that could use some shaping. Um, I'm gonna say The Magicians by Love Grossman. Um, there's just a lot in there that annoyed me. The story seemed kind of all over the place. And it went to too many different places, just, and also, just like, every time you described a woman in that book, it had to be, like, sensual. Like, can't you just describe a woman that just came into the scene and left within a couple of minutes without talking about how her jawline was, like, sexy? And describing someone's voice, like, they saw somebody said something, like, no, it just, his book's annoying me, I don't know. I say books, I've only read one, I can't bring myself to read the next one because I'm scared it's going to be worse. But my, my makeup's basically finished now. This is 
the final product. I wouldn't buy it. And that is all for the makeup book tag. I guess I should tag some people, but I wasn't really sure who I should tag for this. So I'm just gonna go on my um, notifications. This is what I usually do when I tag people. And just be people that like notify, I get a lot of notifications about. I'm gonna say Rainy Days and Stormy Nights, Miss Lynn Reads, Crescent Moon Reads, Alex Black, and Amy Yuki Vickers. I hope I said all of your names right. And also, you definitely don't have to do this if you don't wear makeup or if you don't want to. And if you don't wear makeup, then you're more than welcome to just do it without the actual putting on of the makeup. Which is probably what I should have done because I'm not, again, very good at it. Even though it kind of looks good in this camera today. Look at that. If you like more of this junk, subscribe. And that's all I got. Bye!